Hey, Joy Blue here, and I want to talk about a little trick on how to delete duplicates in SQL Server. And so first off, let's create a little table that has um, some duplicates in it. And so I've got a little script here. And let me zoom out so we can see all this. And so I've got a little table I want to create that has some duplicate emails in it. And um, it could be some kind of opt-in list or, or email marketing list you have. And let's go ahead and execute that. And let's see what's inside of the table now. So select star from email list. And you can see that we have some duplicates here. So Bob's in there twice. Jill's in there quite a few times. Um, so let's go ahead and order this so we can see what is really duplicated in here. And you can see that Bob's in there three times. Jan's only in there once, so she's okay. And Jill's in there three times. So we want to get rid of these duplicates. Well, there's really two nice tricks where you can use uh, CTEs, or common table expressions, in order to get um, rid of these duplicates. So let's try that out. So I've got another script here, the first way. And let me copy that over. And so here's the first query and it uses the row number over and then the order by so this is a special clause inside a SQL Server that you can use and let's just see what this little select statement does first it actually puts a row number on all the records so Bob you can see is one two three and then Jan is four and then Jill is five six seven Okay, so now that we have a row number, it makes it easier to actually delete. And so let's take a quick look at the second part of this, where we actually do our delete, and we say where row number not in, and then we say select the minimum row number um, from this group here. And so the minimum row number is going to be 1 for Bob, 4 for Jan, and 5 for Jill. And so we want the row numbers where it's not equal to the 1 for Bob, the 4 for Jan, and the 5 for Jill. So that means we're going to actually delete those two rows and these two rows. So let's run this and see what happens. Four rows were affected. So now let me come back over to the email list. And we got rid of the duplicates. So that's one way to do it. Now there's another way we can do it um, using a similar statement. First let's reload our table and I'm just going to put a whole bunch more of these back in it. So we've got a ton of duplicates now. So Bob's in there a whole bunch, Jan's even in there a few times, and Jill's in there quite a few times. So let's go ahead and look at the second way we can do this. I'm going to copy over another statement. And I'll just paste it below so we can compare these two. So this statement uses another clause, the partition by. And let's take a look at what that does differently. So I'm just going to highlight that part of it. And I will go ahead and execute. And let's take a look at what that does differently. Well, what it does is it actually groups by the first two columns and then numbers. So you can see that when we get to the next group, it starts the numbering over. So for Bob, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we start numbering again at Jan. So we have 1, 2, and then we start numbering again at Jill. 1, 2, 3, 4. And so then, all we have to do to delete is actually look for the duplicate count, in this case, this column here, greater than 1. And so here, the duplicate counts bigger than one, so we're going to delete all those. Duplicate counts bigger than one, so we'll delete Jan. Duplicate counts bigger than one, so we'll delete all those. So to, for me, this is a little bit easier to, to follow than the other one. Um, I like it better. They both work just fine, though. So let's go ahead and uh, run this and make sure it does what we think it should do. So I'll highlight here, F5, seven rows were deleted. Let me go ahead and select. 
and we have th three rows and so everything's done so I'll go ahead and put these scripts uh, over on my blog and uh, as always if you find this helpful um, please leave a comment below click the like button or subscribe to my channel uh, you can also visit me at sequeltrainingonline.com and I hope you enjoyed this free video